Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today I am back on Lunaris where I'll go over the brand new Inferno with the Inferno Cape. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to announce a giveaway. I will be giving away a next casket to the first winner, a jewelry box to the second winner and a Raids casket to the third winner. So there will be three winners in this video. If you want to enter, make sure you are subscribed, comment your in-game name, like the video and also turn on notifications so you get notifications of further videos. Alright, so the Inferno Cape. Now if you want to go there, you can just talk to the teleport wizard right here go to the mini game section and then you'll see the inferno right here with the zug boss so let's go ahead and go to the inferno cave right now so um, once you are here you can see you actually have to uh jump in the cave but before you can actually do that you have to exchange a fire cave right here so if you click on exchange um you can say uh, inferno uh, entrance fee uh, which will be a fire cave so once you trade that you can go ahead and enter I already did this because I had to test a few times because I definitely suck at uh, the inferno itself but um, yeah as you can see you can get this wonderful pet as well from the um, infernal caves you can also gamble your infernal caves to actually have a chance of getting this uh, pet but yeah you can also uh, metamorph it into the uh, nip rag as well so yeah that's super nice now for the uh, infernal cave itself it looks dope it's like 100% the same as the RS version, so yeah, that is pretty cool. Now, anyways, before we actually go into the Inferno and try it out ourselves, I just want to mention that the developer has been working very hard on this with the Balance team, and uh, they created this Zug, so it is very similar to the old school RS Infernal Caves. The mechanics are very smooth and is practically in that identical. So uh, yeah, that is very nice. All right, now another thing you can do with the Infernal Cape is actually if you have a Max Cape and a Max Hood in your inventory, you can use the Infernal Cape right on here, and then you can infuse it to an Infernal Max Cape with the Hood. Now this looks absolutely amazing. I love this, and uh, yeah, that is very nice to do as well once you are maxed out. Now with the release of the Infernal, there is actually a competition going on in the Discord, as you can see right here. The link of Discord will be down below in the description, so definitely make sure you join Discord as well to actually have a look at all the competitions they have um, but as you can see there are four prizes for this you do have to record the entire process and you cannot use a BOB familiar or a mini me pet in this uh, competition now the first player that actually gets the Zuck pet from the Inferno gets $50 store credit which is nice then the first one defense pure will get $50 sto uh, dollar store credit and a random vote party uh, buff scroll um, same with the first Iron Man and then the first Ultimate Iron Man will get $75 store credit with two random vote party buff scrolls which is very nice. Now besides that let's just go over the developer log real quick as you can see the Inferno Rose was released on May 25th which is six days before this video is released. By the way today is my birthday I uh, just want to shout that out for the people who want to wish me a happy birthday eat. Um, but anyways let's get into um, the update log. So as you can see besides the Inferno they still added a lot of bug fixes as well um, also some quality of life changes right here um, they added the explosion effect to the chinchon pass they did a bunch more as well as you can see with the infernal cape edition but yeah it wasn't just the inferno that they were working on they had a lot of things that they were working on in this update so yeah that is very nice uh, also the brand new login interface which looks very nice if you ask me it has like that old school feeling as well like the whole world which looks super nice in my opinion um actually Vite created this uh, design so that is very nice i didn't know that until now but yeah then the main part of this update is the finished inferno so um, yeah, that is very nice as well. Now besides that, if we actually scroll up and we go ahead and go to the update section right here, you can actually see that they update quite often. Um, as you can see, the update of 15 May, then 25, then January 29, April 27, April 14. So there is basically an update almost every single week, which is quite insane uh, considering if you look how big the updates actually are so that is super nice and now that we are on the forums of Lunaris let's actually check out this thread as well which is the official YouTube channel of Lunaris itself um, now every single unique sub uh, subscriber to this channel does get a reward so definitely make sure you go ahead and check out this channel um, the link of this forum thread will be down below in the description so you can read through it but yeah everyone who is a legit subscriber does get um, 
get himself some free rewards as well as you can see all the videos from uh, previous youtubers do get posted on this channel so yeah that is very nice indeed all right let's go ahead and jump into the inferno now i do want you guys to know before we actually do this i'll have a few attempts uh, at this uh, oh, I cannot bring the mini me belt. Okay, that, well, that, that's a fail. But uh, I will do have uh, I'll do a few attempts at the inferno because I absolutely suck. I'll try to make like a, a little uh, compilation of clips of me uh, probably dying a lot. Um, but uh, besides that, I hope that I can actually get quite far. I will try my best, of course. Um, I did attempt this a few times before without any food, and I did actually manage to get it down to like 1,000 HP, which is only like 200 HP, but for without food I think that is pretty nice so hopefully we can actually get to a quite nice stage in this inferno but yeah if you want to enter you just click on the jump into the inferno caves then you just click continue uh, and then you will jump in as you can see now this is basically the same as in the inferno itself I do pray mage because I have no idea what to actually pray uh, and then I use the twisted bow because uh, yeah that's the best weapon I have and I really have no idea how the mechanics work all that well I just know I have to stand behind the shield and I need to uh, actually zoom out um, okay there we go that's better um, so yeah I'm just going to stand behind the shield hopefully don't get hit oh there is my first death but anyways I'll try this a few times and hopefully we can get to a nice stage No, fuck. Okay, that was that was the attempt that I will end off with. Damn, I actually did manage to get quite far in this attempt. I did not expect to get that. Okay, so I got him down to under 500 HP. So I go to the jet phase basically, and um, yeah, I, I misclicked, so I stepped the tile away. 
and then the Zerg hit me for 78 or something and I died. But damn, okay, that was actually quite a good attempt. I didn't expect to get this far, so yeah, I am quite hyped about that. Anyways, I'm going to open some of these boxes now. Now, I will equip everything from the jewelry box because in my last video I did get a classic armband and I said, oh, that's worth nothing, but basically what this does is it makes you look in 2D like RS Classic. And um, this was actually worth quite a lot. So yeah, this time around I will equip everything to see what it does. So um, yeah, I will be quick opening these, um, I suppose. Let's see what we can get. Ring, uh, Firebird ring, which will morph me in the Firebird. Unica ring, which will uh, morph me in a Unica, which is pretty cool. Um, then we get a... Oh, we get a uh, Tsukei ring, which... Uh, oh, this looks quite dope. To be honest uh, then we just get a ring of suffering which is pretty nice as well and then we get a goal ring which will morph me in a goal so yeah that's pretty nice as well now uh, let's go ahead and um oh we have to open up these like that so yeah i'll just open up these and i'll be back in a second and of course we did get a next uh, item which is super lucky um so yeah very nice and we get ourselves a second Pernix body from these boxes, so that is actually quite lucky. We get two super rare items. As you can see, this was just a line of super rare items. I got super lucky on these. However, it was like three Pernix bodies in a row. But um, yeah, still, besides that, we got a rare three hour XP booster and a rare Elder Chaos rope, and then a common 45 dragon plate legs, which is very nice as well. Anyways, let me just open up these Rage 2 caskets now. Alright, so from those, we got two Dragon Warhammers, a Heavy Ballista, and then a Dexterous Prayer Scroll which I now use, uh, this would have actually helped me out in the uh, in the Inferno case, but we did manage to get quite a nice attempt anyways. I actually forgot to show this, but on the update log post, there's actually a comment from Jazz, the uh, other owner, uh, or the community manager. Um, but yeah, he posted, if you comment your favorite update, you have a chance to win a juicy 1 to 28 goodie bag, so just you go ahead down below, comment your favorite update, and then you have a chance to win one of these goodie bags, which is very juicy. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Definitely make sure you enter the giveaway. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you smash the like button down below and subscribe if you didn't already. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.